So EA dropped the 93 plus Path to Glory, Make Your Mark or Make Your Mark plus Player Pick. Let's open up a bunch of these and see what we get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. These have the new Path to Glories in it as well as the old Path to Glory. So, you know, like 98 Saka would be nice. You know, I'd take a Delict as well, a Future United player. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Could have been a lot better, don't get me wrong. But I'll take Gvardio, that's actually all right. I need another CB in my team. Because I want to play John Stones at DM and try him out. So, like, that actually works really, really well. He's not stupidly expensive, but he's not cheap either. I'm actually happy with that. That's solid. They also dropped the 90 plus team of the season upgrade, which I'm not going to lie, is one of the most necessary SBCs right now. I am running low on team of the seasons and team of the weeks, all right? I need... Fodder, that is a team of the season or team of the week at the moment. Who we got? We've got ourselves... Is it Anthony Robertson? No, it's not even. Is, is that is that, that Nishwonga? Yeah, or nice Wonga. I'll, I'll take that. Honestly, that's good fodder. We'll put that into an SBC at some point over the week. Nice, successful. All right, next player pick. We've got John's player pick next. I want to see some of the new Path to Glories because they are, I think, a little bit better. Johnston's okay. It's not incredible, but it's okay because he's... Technically still in the tournament, right. Are oh, Canada going to progress? Probably not, but he's technically still in the tournament and it's not a bad card either. And he's got the plus chemistry, so like, it's all right. All right, we've got James's player pick next. Let's see what James is going to get in his 93 plus player pick. Ooh, Gamare, she's lovely. Shame they just got kicked out of the tournament by uh, by a 10-man Uruguay. I don't know, it doesn't really matter if the 10-man or not. He was, ironically, like eight 900k. And now, like, that was literally about a week and a half ago. And now he's 120k. But it's still a decent card, right? It's still a decent card. Zaylin's player pick next on the Xbox. He's got himself Mateus Nunes at Skriniar or Osorio. Not incredible, unfortunately. Um, could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot better than that. All right, we've got Amy's player pick next. Let's see what Amy is going to get. Come on. Come on, EA. Hincapié or Mikado. Mikado is still in the tournament. Hincapié, unfortunately. The card isn't that bad, but three playstyle pluses, I just feel like at this stage of the game, you kind of want four playstyle pluses and then to stay again. Next player pick. Ooh, Kanji. Oh, shoot. Many didn't even see him there. Am I am I blind or what? I was like, ooh, Kanji's nice. Brother, Shermany's right there. Shermany is right there. How much is that Shermany card? Shermany is is how much? He is 1.4 million, basically. Wow. That is lovely. You absolutely take that. All right. Next one. Come on, EA. Shermany so far, the card to beat. Ooh. Oh, my word. That, by far, is, like, the best player pick we've seen. Like, that is a really nice player pick. I had to get a screenshot of that. That is really nice. I don't know who you'd pick here, though. In terms of pricing, so Gamari is about 120k, not great, but it's still a decent card, right? Lukaku is 360k, then Kolo Mwani is 373k. If I was to pick between those two, I think I'd pick Lukaku, um, but that's a really good player pick, to be fair, because it's multiple good options. All right, we've got Dan the Gooners pick next. He wants an Arsenal player here, EA. Saliba or Saka would be very nice. Or, you know, we could just get three copper cards. That also, that's, that also works, EA. Thanks, man. We really appreciate that. Right, EA, no more messing around, all right? We've had sure many. That's nice. But there's 99 Van Dijk. There's 98 Bakaya Saka. There's 98 Saliba. There's 97 John Stone. There's some great cards out there. Let me see some of those ones, EA. Let's not, let's not mess around anymore. Painful. All right, next one. Let's get like a cold Palmer, you know? Alvarez is solid. We'll take Alvarez. Is he expensive still? I feel like he should be because Argentina in the semi-finals. Wow, he's actually a lot more than I thought he was. That's a W. 625,000 coin lowest bin on footbin. We'll take that. That's solid. All right, we go again. So far, like I said, best bin sure many. I think second best is like Julian Alvarez, which is a good card, to be fair. I didn't realize he was as expensive as he was. I thought it was about 300k. We go again, though. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Jeez, man. That's actually really, really good. 820,000 coins for Rodrigo. I guess Jonathan David's probably still worth a little bit, given the fact they're still in the tournament. About 300k for Jonathan David. 
That's solid. You take that. That is decent. I would take Rodrigo a billion percent here because I bet this card is ridiculous in game. But like, uh, that's a good pick. That is a good pick. We've got Zalem's 84 plus picks as well to open up. Let's see what he gets. 84 plus player picks. One of four. Sandra de Panos. At least these are good for getting a bit of fodder back in the club. But like, we're not seeing a huge amount of like path to glories in these, are we? 87 Neuer as well. Yeah, I'd probably like... If you can do these with fodder, like, pretty easily, that's fine. But I wouldn't spend coins on the players to do these. All right, next 93 plus player pick. What are we saying? It's okay. Jean Neves could have been better. But it's all right. It's not, it's not horrendous. It's not horrendous. These have been okay. They've not been incredible. But these have been okay. You know, we've had a few really nice pulls. Alvarez, Rodrigo, Schumann and whatnot. But, like, these have been okay. Here we go. Next one is going to be quite bad. Arthur Theta, who I think was going to Qatar or Saudi Arabia, but he got called off. So, don't know where he's going now. All right, we have another one on the PC now. What are we saying? Mateus Nunes, a usable card. You know, it's, it's it's a shame he won't get any upgrades, but it's definitely a usable card. We joined as he opened it. He's got himself Stanisic, Mudrik, or Jonathan David. Jonathan David's still a live card. Mudrik's really quick on in-game. But it's also okay. I wouldn't say it's an amazing player pick, but Mudrick's all right. All right, we have got Dario's player pick next. Let's see what Dario gets. Come on, EA. Another Gamarish. He's well and truly in the rotation. Again, can't complain too much because it's a good card, but, you know, it, it isn't insane, you know. On to my second account for the last player pick of the video, but then we've got like five of the duo guaranteed Path to Glory packs as well, the duo knockout guarantee packs. So make sure you stick around for those. They're coming right after this. But let's see what we get in our final Path to Glory or Make Your Mark player pick on my second account. What we get in EA? Lucimi or Tita, who has been in most of these player picks. Well then, let me know down below what you guys get and leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy, enjoy the rest of these packs. All right, we've got my 84 plus player picks. These were all right for people yesterday, so we'll see what we get. All right, come on, EA. Path to glories, please. Oh my word. That is, that is terrible. We'll take Kolo Moani. All right, second one. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. All right, third and final one. Come on. Yikes. Knockout duo guarantee pack with coinage. He's got himself a Brazilian CDM. Ooh, Douglas Louise. And Ollie Watkins. That could have been worse. Douglas Louise ain't bad, I feel like. Is he? I think Douglas Louise is pretty good. Anyone else in there? Not really. I think Douglas Louise is not bad. I think I think both of those cards are okay. Douglas Louise is probably about 300. I mean, they got knocked out, which is a bit of a shame, actually. He probably went down quite a lot, but... It's all right. That could be a lot worse. All right. My duo knockout guarantee now. We've got ourselves a Colombian striker. That's a bad start, isn't it? Borja. That is a pretty bad start. Come on. Be someone really good behind that, please. Come on, EA. Let me see, like, Saka or something. You know what I mean? Not ideal. Not ideal. Ooh, I'll take that. Mateus Nunes is not bad. Sadly, obviously, this card's not getting the upgrades. And it's probably quite cheap. But it's actually just a, it's a new card of the club. I'll take it. Could have been worse. But yeah, not ideal, to be honest. All right, John's duo guarantee now. Let's see. Hopefully, it's better than mine. Wait, who's that? Oh, Jimenez. I thought it was Arujo. Then I realized he was an SBC, so I got confused. 94 Jimenez is not a great start. Jesus Navas again. These are a bit of an IQ test today, aren't they? These are a bit of an IQ test today. Berbatov. Let's go. Go on, Dimitar. Aside from that, that's pretty bad. Unfortunate. All right, Zalim's duo guarantee pack. We've got better than ours. That's the question. Oli Watkins to start is not bad. Oli Watkins to start is all right. As long as it's not Hedges Navas behind it. Oh, oh, no, it's Danny Olmo. Fair enough. Even still, though, not great. Even still, not ideal. Gonzalez, he's not bad. Not incredible, but not bad. Palestri, Vendor. Well, you got a lot of cards there, to be fair. You got a lot of fodder, at least. Don't you discard Palestri. Oh, there you in, mate.